In this video, we are going to talk about MQ integration options available in Data Power. MQ has been cornerstone for uh, integration world for a very long time. And it's no wonder that in Data Power, this is also an important topic. So, in this video, we are going to tackle the MQ connectivity topic. We'll, dis we'll understand both from a theoretical perspective as well as we'll see how the MQ connectivity really works in Data Power. So, let's get started. This diagram essentially explains the different kind of MQ connectivity scenario as it can happen in Data Power. So, you see that in Data Power, um, you can have scenario number one where uh, you have some data sitting on MQ and you want to pull that data from Data Power. In this case, MQ front side handler will help you out. We'll see it uh, in more detail later. The second scenario that we can have is that there is some data on multi-protocol gateway which you want to push to the MQ queues. These are the two fundamental scenarios. Now, there could be a mix of these scenarios. For example, you can have a scenario where you want to push data on an MQ. At the same time, you would want to wait for some time to uh, get some kind of acknowledgement which you want to bring in back into the data power to process and then return some kind of response back to the caller. So, this is a combination of uh, these two uh, fundamental use case. Now, if we talk about integration between data power appliance and MQ server, fundamentally we have two different systems uh, to integrate. In MQ server, we have something called queue manager. A queue manager is an object which has properties like IP address, port number, and there are several dozen properties of it. Um, I just listed few of them important from data power perspective over here. Associated with queue manager are some queues as well, which uh, this queue manager is supposed to oversee or manage. Um, so this is essentially uh, what is important from a data power perspective when connecting with MQ server. Now on data power, you're going to create something called MQ queue manager. Now, this queue manager object that you're going to create over here is kind of an object that encapsulates the connectivity detail between data power appliance and MQ server. So, this queue manager object will have a IP address of the MQ server based queue manager. In this example, for example, if I uh, create the MQ queue manager on data power appliance, I need to supply the IP address 10.202.34.21. Um, I also need to provide it the port number of remote queue manager, which is 1414 in this case. And if there are TLS and other authentication related configuration, then I need to provide that as well. So that is uh, what essentially constitutes this MQQ manager object on data power. Now, assuming that you have created this queue manager object on data power, what's next? The next stuff is to associate it with a multi-protocol gateway or web services proxy or for that matter, any other top level object. But how? So you associate it with the help of a URL. Whenever you are dealing with an MQ, remember that you will have to formulate the URL. So URL is very important. And in this URL, you can see where the queue manager goes. Now that we have understood um, the importance of the URL, let us give a little bit of focus on this URL itself. So if I talk about the anatomy of the URL, you can see that here is a big URL. But it is easy to understand. The first few characters like DPMQ, this, this is protocol identifier. Then you provide the queue manager name. Remo re remember, this is the queue manager object that you have created on the data power. This is not the remote queue manager name present on the MQ server. So th there is no need to confuse here. Then you get, uh, you, you need to provide the request queue name you need to provide the reply queue name, and then you can provide certain query parameters over here. This is essentially the anatomy of uh, the MQ.
Now, it is also important that you be aware of few key points when you are dealing with MQ connectivity. There are lots of variations and hence I jotted down these points in order to ensure a seamless integration between data power and uh, MQ. So the very first one is that you want to send a message to MQ, use request queue. You want to read a message from MQ server, use reply queue. Re the word request queue and reply queue are keywords on the data power. Now, the protocol protocol value that you saw before, which is DP, which was DPMQ, uh, well, there are various versions of it, various uh, um, variations of it. IDGMQ. You use this if you are dealing with IBM MQ version 9 plus. We will see it shortly. You use DPMQ FTE if you are dealing with IBM MQ FTE edition. IDG MQ MFTE if you are dealing with IBM MQ version 9 plus edition MFT. DPMQ, regular MQ server URL, well, if um, your MQ is not version 9 plus or if you are not dealing with FTE or uh, MFT type of MQ setup, then you use DPMQ. Now, uh, specifying one queue is mandatory. What do I mean by this? See, this is an example of an MQ URL over here. Okay, fine. Here I specified request queue and reply queue, but I need not have to specify both. But at the same time, I need to specify at least one of them. And that is what is important. That is specifying one queue is mandatory. Now, in data power, there is something called a URL builder object. It can help you construct a URL, but the limitation is that it can help you construct the URL only related to DPMQ protocol. You can see this object over here and you can see the button called MQ helper. This is the URL builder object that we are talking about. Now, MQ calls are typically uh, returned immediately. So, in your application, you will have to plan accordingly. Um, if we if we build an application, for example, where uh, we use HTTP protocol to send messages to um, uh, to a multi-protocol gateway and uh, let it put that message directly on the MQ and then uh, return a response back to the caller, you will see that those responses are typically empty. Data power will return you HTTP response code 200, but it will not return you any kind of response data. So this is not unusual. This is usual because that's how the MQ behaves. So this is all about the MQ connectivity between the data power and uh, uh, the MQ server instance. Let's jump on to uh, the next phase of it where I would like to show you how um, practically um, you integrate MQ server uh, with the data power appliance.